Hey guys, this is Matt with 4hydroproducts.com and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the different reflective films we offer and uh, talking about the different pros and cons um, and also uh, just explaining why that would be a good idea to get them in your room. Um, first we're going to look at this is the panda film. I think most people have seen this in their life. Black on one side, white on the other. Um, the black is meant to keep the light out or in, um, and then the white is meant to reflect the light. Um, I will say that you know if you use some of these materials properly, you can increase your light reflectivity up to 30%. So you know if you're already paying a lot of money to get those lights overhead properly, and you're doing everything in your power to make sure they're at the right height and the right temperature, and the glass is clean, but you don't have any reflective material up, or you have cheaper reflect reflective material, you could definitely increase your yields um, by adding some higher end stuff to that room, or just getting some reflector reflective material in there. Um, so this would be more of a temporary option for somebody who's building a quick temporary room, or building up a quick little mom space, um, or a little veg space. Um, or just lining an already pre-existing area um, for something that you're just going to be doing relatively quickly. Um, it is relatively cheap, so if you wanted just to use it so that, you know, if you had to tear it down and recycle it or something, um, it wouldn't be much, much money to get it back up and running again. Um, so, yep, yeah, a great option for somebody who's just looking for something temporary or quick. Um, and then uh, I'd say up from there would be the Mylar next. Um, this is the flat, smooth Mylar. The only issue with the flat smooth mylar or the con would be that because it's so flat and smooth, the light coming into it bounces off pretty much as it came into it. It almost doesn't really diffuse much light. So you end up with a light beam hitting it, coming off, and then hitting your lamp, your leaf, and that becomes a hot spot. Um, so hot spots are a little bit of an issue with mylar, um, and it does not diffuse light very well, hence the hot spots. Um, other than that, you know, it's relatively durable. Um, a little bit hard to wash and clean. Um, you don't want to scratch it up. That will, you know, have some uh, effect on its reflectivity. Um, so baby it somewhat once you get it up there. Um, but other than that, it's a, it's a pretty darn good uh, way to reflect light into your garden. Um, uh, just make sure you have flat surfaces. Uh, and then watch out for hot spots. Um, one way they try to diffuse that light more coming off of mylar is to add some kind of pattern into it. There's different versions of this. Um, but this is a just a gridded version of the mylar. It's got a little grid pattern printed into it um, that's going to help diffuse, diffuse the light a little bit more, um, reduce those hot spots, uh, and make it a little bit more efficient at uh, spreading that light out as it hits it. Once again, though, it is, needs to be as flat as possible, and it's not super durable, so you know, uh, make sure you're a little bit careful with it when you're hanging. Um, and then uh, last but not least, uh, on the film side of things, is the Orca, which I feel is probably one of the best ones in the market. Um, it's quite a bit different. They kind of go about it in a different way. Um, their plastic's not heated up and melted and pressed together. This is a bunch of fa little strands of fabric that are then um, basically compressed with pressure. Um, and then the, on that fabric, there are a ton of little microscopic air holes. Um, those little air holes reflect light back out and do a great job of diffusing the light. Um, so almost no hot spots, a ton of reflectivity, and it doesn't need to be flat. You could theoretically bunch this up like a shower curtain and still have the same amount of reflectivity as you did if it was completely flat. Um, so um, this is extremely durable. You could use this multiple times, take it down. A great way to hang this up is for a Velcro, a big strip of Velcro at the top and bottom. That way, if you need to, you could take it down, fold it up, and take it with you, take it out and wash it, um, a lot of different things. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is one of the favorites in the shop. A little bit uh, on the higher end cost-wise, but really kind of pays for itself in the long run. So if you're looking for a high-end version of a film, I really recommend the Orca film. Uh, and then last but not least is the paint. Uh, I know someone's going to say, what about paint? Uh, so paint is a great way to go. You just don't want to use eggshell and you don't want to use glossy. You want to use flat uh, white and if so an antifungal flat white would be nice. Um, and then uh, keep in mind that adding that primer would be a very important part of how reflector it is, reflective it is. So don't just go slapping up, you know, a coat of white paint up. Um, ideally, go through the process of cleaning and sanding the wall. You know, any blemishes or any little nooks and crannies will, will affect the reflectivity of it. So get the wall, you know, uh, properly uh, primed, um, and then paint it with a coat of primer, 
and then apply the white, and that'll give you the best uh, reflectivity. Um, if you have a large garden, that might be your best option. You know, keep in mind some people that have large indoor gardens, this would be a little bit uh, uneconomical and maybe even just too much labor. So uh, on a large scale, paint definitely still has a home in the in the grow community, um, and uh, I recommend um, reapplying every couple years just to make sure it stays nice and uh, nice and uh, bright and reflective. So uh, I hope this. Uh, you know, got you excited about reflective film and started kind of thinking about how reflective your lights are and your garden is and uh, how you can increase your yields and increase your quality by increasing your reflectivity. A pretty simple thing to do. I just got to put a little time and energy into it. Um, all these things are available on our website, 4 um, I hope this video helped you guys out and we will see you guys next time.